Okay, so I open carry. All right. Um, looking at just the way I'm dressed right now, my 1911 is right here. It's out in the open. I open carry every day, and I open carry pretty much everywhere. Okay. The only places I don't open carry are, where, are places that I am, you know, prohibited by state statute from doing so. And occasionally I will cover up if I'm going to a place where I think people might be made a little bit uncomfortable by seeing a gun. But this is Oklahoma, so it doesn't really it, it, it doesn't really happen too often, okay? Um, and I'm a big believer in, you know, exposure is good. Uh, it, it's good for normalization. I'm not an open carry advocate, per se. I do it because, you know, my SDA license from the state of Oklahoma allows me to. It's 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 a lot like like some other states like Indiana. You know, you have one carry license and, and you have the option concealed or open. I just choose open. It's easier for me. It's more convenient for me. That said, I'm not looking to scare folks. And I'm a big dude. You know, I'm, I'm 6'2". I'm like 280. I'm a big dude. I, I'm kind of imposing. I get that. You know, I'm heavily tattooed and I have the beard. You know, kind of like a, a biker Santa Claus or, or uh, you know, sometimes uh, I don't know, a, 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 an extra from from Duck Dynasty or something like that. So I'm, I'm a big dude and I'm kind of imposing, but I'm not threatening. Okay. So if I go to Walmart or whatever and I want some tasty pastry treats, and I happen to be open carrying. That's fine because 99.9% .9 of the people out there aren't even going to notice that I'm carrying a gun. Whether it's open or concealed, it doesn't matter. People just simply aren't that observant. Okay? The only people who, who will notice are people who are trained or conditioned to look for things around the waste area uh, that could be threatens, threats. Okay? Police officers, uh, military personnel, that kind of thing. Okay, people who are trained for that kind of stuff and conditioned to it. But your average Joe on the street, they're not even going to notice. Now, I suppose if I was carrying, I don't know, a big giant gold-plated Desert Eagle and a patent leather holster, uh, people would notice that. That's kind of hard to miss. It's awful shiny. But it's not something, you know, with my normal regular carry rig, people don't even notice. So I can go to Walmart and I can buy my tasty, my tasty cakes, okay? And... You know, it's much ado about nothing, right? Well, what happens when I do this? So now, well, let me put it on the other way. So now I have a fucking AR strapped across my chest, and I'm walking through Walmart with my with my tasty treats. Okay, what do I look like now? Well, first off, I look like an asshole. Okay. Plain and simple, I look like an asshole. Second, I look like a fucking psycho. Plain and simple. This is not the way to get your point across. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're doing it. I don't care how restrictive your state's gun laws may be. Walking around with an AR or an AK or an SKS, open, magazine in. Of course, this one's empty, okay? Nobody knows whether you've got a full magazine or not. This is not how you prove a point. I look like a lunatic right now. Quite I, honestly. If I walked into Walmart like this, even here in Oklahoma, the first thing that's going to happen is people are going to flip plumb the fuck out. The second thing that's going to happen is those people who are flipping plumb the fuck out are calling 911. And then the cops are going to show up and I'm going to be all over, oh, oh, surprised about it. No, I'm not. I expect that to happen. Why? Because I'm carrying a fucking AR in Walmart. Seriously. There's no point behind this. There's no point behind doing this. It doesn't do anybody any good. See, we have a problem in this country, and the problem is, is that the people who are supposed to be advocating for us as gun owners are going about it in such a terrible way, okay? I'm speaking, today I'm speaking specifically about Open Carry Tarrant County. Open Carry, Tarrant, Open Carry Tarrant County is an offshoot of Open Carry Texas. Open Carry Texas has since 
distance themselves from open carry Tarrant County because of the shenanigans that open carry Tarrant County has been pulling over the last month. Those include without, you know, without notifying the law enforcement that what, you know, of their planned demonstration, just walking into a fast food joint in Texas into a Jack in the box and freaking people out, going to a Chipotle's and freaking people out. Well, I don't go to Chipotle's anyway, the food sucks. But the point is, is that people should be able to eat their burritos in peace without a bunch of neck beards carrying ARs and AKs around. And just recently, they, they invaded a Target store. Now, I, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I get it. But here's the thing. Open carry Tarrant County is like the demonic offspring of Westboro Baptist Church and Boko Haram. Okay? If you know who Westboro Baptist Church is and you know who Boko Haram is, you'll get that reference. If you don't, Google's your friend. Open Carry Texas has said that they have dismissed or broken off from Open Carry Tarrant County, that they, they're no longer an official part of Open Carry Texas, yet they're still listed on Open Carry Texas' website with links to their Facebook page and their Twitter feed and everything else. Even though Open Carry Texas has said they are too extreme for us, okay, that's like neo-Nazis saying that Westboro Baptist Church is too extreme for us. Or Al-Qaeda saying Boko Haram is too extreme for us. You guys get where I'm going with this? Now, I get it. Texas doesn't have a statute on the books where it's legal to open carry a handgun. I get that. They don't have any kind of open carry statute, and people are working really hard to, to get that passed. We just went through all that here in Oklahoma a couple years back. So I, I get that, okay? But invading a Chipotle is not the way to get it done. Just because it's legal, just because you can legally walk around the street, walk around Texas with a loaded AR or AK or any kind of law gun doesn't mean you should, and it doesn't make it right. You're not educating people, you're alienating them, and you're scaring them. It's no different than if I went down to the dollar store wearing a mankini and singing the 1989 hit song Fuck Shop by Two Live Crew at the top of my lungs. Just because I can do that doesn't mean I should, and I shouldn't be surprised when the dollar store management asks me to leave. And the last thing I need to be doing at that point is screaming about my rights. What you guys have done is you've set us back. You've set the cause in Texas back. Okay? You've made it so that in certain places, firearms are no longer welcome where these, where these establishments have never had a problem with it before. Now, I want to say specifically that none of these establishments has outright banned firearms. They don't want people carrying fucking rifles into their stores. And that's their right. It's a private business. I own a gun shop, and if I didn't want people bringing loaded guns into my store, I could say so. It's my right as a business owner. Just because it's right doesn't mean it's, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's right, okay? You're making us all look bad, and you're doing nothing but giving, creating fodder and punchlines for The Daily Show and The Colbert Report and shows like that. All the publicity you're getting for the open carry movement in Texas is bad publicity. And I'm the first person to say, I don't give a shit if I have good publicity or bad publicity. As long as people are watching my videos, I'm getting views, and that's okay. I don't care if they're watching them because they hate me, because they hate my fucking face, because they hate my beard, or if they love me. I don't care why you watch my videos as long as you do. But in this case, the type of publicity you're getting for yourselves and for your movement in Texas is the wrong type of publicity. And you're setting that battle, you're setting that fight that they've, they've been engaging in in Texas for years now, you're setting that back years. And when open carry doesn't get passed in Texas anytime this year or probably the next, guess who's to blame? You fucking dickheads are. 
And this goes for all you assholes out in California, the ones who ruined it for everybody else in California, and that dickhead up in Seattle too, the one who likes to carry assault, or that likes to carry ARs around public parks and then talk shit to the cops when they do their job and investigate the crazy looking dude on a bicycle with an AR strapped to his back. You're not helping us. You're making us all look like psychos. And I'm starting to sound like a psycho because I'm getting more and more and more pissed off. The more I talk about this, the more upset I get. So I'm going to shut up now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.